Hey guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kol again. Hope you guys are doing good. So in today's uh, video, I will take you through a process uh, of a BMC remedy, uh, where we will see how we can um, export data from uh, BMC remedy and how we can import the data. So let's get started. Now, uh, for you know, for any application to work it has to deal with the data data is an you know integral part of any application without data application cannot work it's like you know uh, it's a relation between a body and skeleton so if uh, you know our application is a skeleton the uh, the data is the body so with combination of both of uh, data and you know application it gives us the final picture or final results which I, which we, uh, like uh, which we are expecting from a particular application now um, in bmc remedy also it deals with data there is a lot of data which is generated uh, there is a transactional data there is a data which is generated from the configurations and some other data which is basically imported from third parties and also remedy sends the data to the third party depending upon the you know uh, operation to operation so here we will see a process, uh, a simple process of exporting a data. Mostly uh, people who are working in Remedy, they will be familiar with this. So I will explain you that process also. But if uh, you are new to Remedy, then it, it will be uh, you know easy for you to learn how to export data from a Remedy. Similarly, we will also see uh, like how we can import it and using which tool we can import it. That I can explain. There are you know uh, n number of ways which uh, with which we can import the data into Dermity. so now so uh, first of all uh, this is my form and it has let's suppose this is the data um, you know i need to export this data okay so what i will do i will uh, you know i have let's suppose this is in new mode so i will just perform a search so it's always advi advisable to uh, give a search based on qualification so do not run a blank search on any of the form so on test environments it's okay but not on production system so let me just perform a search and then i have only four records so that's why i just gave a blank search but normally it is uh, blocked on the production system you have to give some qualification to get the results which is also an you know recommended way or you know uh, the correct way of doing the things now I got these records, so what I will do, I will select them all, I will just take a report. So here you get this reporting console, so there are, there is a button here, plus button, just click on this. Then there are two options, one is web and one is AR system. So this one will give us a web report and this one give us an AR system report. So currently we will go with the web report. AR system report is also similar, but it was used in earlier times. <coughs> there are some fields which might not be available here in the web and uh, this is more you know uh, detailed uh, report of each and everything but for normal operational uh, reports this web is sufficient so for us i think uh, for these fields it is sufficient because we uh, the we need to just understand the process so i will select the web so i will say student underscore report this is the name of the report so here i have to just add so these are the you know these are the columns which are available with me and these are the columns which have already been added to the report uh, list so i'll remove this short description then i will add what what uh, what i need so i will say roll number name this class i have to just click on it and then just click add then status then we have age one number i think that's it okay so now um, there are two ways either you can directly click on here preview to preview the data it will basically display the data which you have selected so you can see here uh, it is displaying the data and now from here itself i can create a report i can click on this icon then i will select the format 
so this is excel docs i can select any of the format for me i need this excel i can say okay <coughs> so you can see the uh, report has been saved here now uh, similarly you can you can generate some other report for example if you want to generate a pdf you want to generate docs you can do that like whatever format the reporting you want you can do that so i have selected this excel okay now uh, uh, let me close this okay now you can also if you want to use this report continuously you can save it here if you click on this save button it will take you back to the okay yeah it will uh, save your report and now if i go back so my report will be saved under my, my reports if here i select created by me so it will show me my report so this is my report okay so <coughs> sorry for my throat so um, this is how the report will be uh, saved then you want to run it anytime you can generate it from here you can just uh, click on the run button and it will run the report so if you want to add certain filters to the report you can do it from here so show add um, additional filters so these are the available fields on that uh, form from which we have generated the report so we can give any uh, field we can drag this field so for example you want to run it for a particular uh, age so then you can say age and then you can put a number here equals 10 this is the uh, operators here you can use like not myself not empty so these are the operators you can use for generating the report so i will not use any of these uh, reports okay now uh, okay now we have generated this report so um, let me run it again okay so here i will export explode it again okay now uh, we have seen the you know export of data through the report now what i will show you is uh, how we will import this data into this form now uh, to import the data in bmc remedy we have a tool called uh, Rem bmc remedy air system import so this this uh, tool basically was earlier uh, you know uh, it's a thick client now it has been like out of the sport but still um, people are using it for importing the data into the bmc remedy it is one of the easiest ways of you know importing the data we can also use a spoon to you know get the data into bmc remedy that will take separately but this is what we will use today so here if you log in first of all you have to you know log into this i will log into this tool okay okay let me create a new mapping file so now uh, the data which i have exported it is in the csv format or i have converted it to a csv format and uh, we have to first of all select it here so let's suppose let's suppose this is my file so if you click this it will uh, contain filter it will show you the headers when you're doing the map then we have to select the target server it will obviously be the server you have logged in then the target form is the name of the uh, you know table so my uh, form is student table okay that's it now um, if there are some matching fields between this uh, you know csv and the table you can check it with this auto map so now if i click on auto map it has automatically mapped some of the <coughs> fields now additional fields if you need to map you can click here on add then field name i think what is not mapped uh, roll number is not mapped so let me say roll number maybe there is some spelling mismatch 
okay so here i will say roll number okay okay now i have got also roll number mapped with my um, form uh, with my you know feel on the form now there are additional things like how to control this you know import that you can check here in the options if i go here in the options there are a number of you know options available with which you can control how the data is imported so here handle duplicate request id by if i click here there are options by default it is generate new id for records so it will import all the records without you know checking anything and it will generate new id for all the records okay now reject duplicate records it will reject if there is any duplicate uh, record if i select here then you have to mention the uh, you know field so match request id by then if you want to by default it is request id if you can put some custom field then you have to add it here so similarly we have other options generate new id for duplicate records record place so generate new id for duplicate so it will uh, if it identifies a duplicate record it will generate a new id for it similarly you can replace also old records with the new records data that means you want to if you want to update any records you can also do that similarly um, update the records with the new data you can also use these two options okay <coughs> replace and update uh, the difference is initial if you use this one it will replace the existing record with the new records data update means it will only update the data for example there are uh, 10 fields out of the three fields have new value it will only update those three fields okay replace means it will replace all of them then these are other options like you do not want to run any filters uh, you can suppress filters remote trailing spaces and tabs suppress field default values uh, disable pattern matching if there is a pattern matching on the form it will disable it then uh, similarly um, the date date and time format you can set here in this and then uh, you can use it then number of um, here you have this number of records per transaction by default it is 100 so uh, you can uh, do that you can change it so these are the settings basically for the import which you can use now let me show you how this import will work let me go back to the mapping and here is an option to click uh, to import the data if i now click here so you can see import completed in zero seconds four records were imported to the student table zero records were not if there are any records where you have an error or a uh, problem it will showcase you that also okay so then uh, now you can also save this mapping file and if you will save it and this mapping will be saved later if you want to again import the data you can use the same mapping file now let me go back to the this form from a search so you can see new four records now we have eight records and new records have been imported into the into the form so this is how you import a data in pmc remedy uh, so this is it from uh, my side this was just a simple tool and it is it has a very simple uh, you know functionalities basic functionalities but is very useful when you are importing uh, data and also it's very uh, you know fast when it comes to loading the data uh, and um, also the formats it supports <coughs> are aligned with BMC Remedy. For example, if you have an ARX format, you can directly uh, import it. If you have loaded, uh, exported the data in ARX uh, format, you can directly load the data into the ARX format and into the other server using this tool. Uh, I can show you the formats. If you click here, so these are the formats xml arx and csv so we use the csv but arx format is which you can also use you can generate a data in the arx format and then import it quite easily because for that the mapping if you click on auto map it will uh, build the um, auto mapping automatically it's you don't have to do it manually so this is it from my side thank you thanks for watching my video